leaders are those who should represent their country in Sri Lanka. But instead of that, the ambassadors who are representing different countries in Sri Lanka today, well, what they are doing is they are getting involved in politics of Sri Lanka. That should never happen. Diplomacy is something that they have learned in the university. And they should know that the sovereignty, independence of Sri Lanka is for Sri Lanka. They should have the brains to explain to even to our president that he should not have spent so much money for an independence day. <laughs> the, the president of Sri Lanka is begging for money from those countries. So why can't those countries tell the president that they should not, they should not, however, you know, spend unnecessary money for the independence day. It's a sad situation. And I learned that the ambassadors have been entertained by this government in tremendous amount and that they should not do that. You know, what's the use of ambassadors being entertained? The only thing that would come is that they would have a good rapport with the foreign. Today, Sri Lanka, though we are celebrating the Independence Day, we are celebrating a day where we are going back to become the slaves. We are going back to slavery. That's what we have started today. We have started to become slaves again. And because our, our government is trying to please the foreigners and the foreigners are allowing themselves to be pleased and that should not happen because the human rights say Sri Lanka belongs not to the government but the people of Sri Lanka when the people of Sri Lanka are saying it's too much money being spent on Independence Day then the ambassadors themselves should refuse and say we will not come because people are not with the government instead they come, they enjoy, they support, and eventually our country is going backwards. And I'm sad that the people of Sri Lanka themselves, because they are getting different things now, they're getting food items as uh, incentives for the election, they're not saying anything. But we need to be very, very careful, because what DS Sinanayaka did, signing, getting our freedom, now we are trying to go back and hand our, our country back to becoming slaves. It should not happen and we will not allow that to happen.